the last ratio that we are going to see is price to operating cash flow while most of the numbers that we have seen here can be manipulated earnings can be easily manipulated book value can also be manipulated because there could be a lot of intangible assets sales also can be manipulated to some extent so cash flow cannot be manipulated generally so it is better to value the company also using cash flow so price to operating cash flow per share so price is something we have calculated operating cash flow is available in cash flow statement CFO divided by number of shares will give me operating cash flow per share all right so the interpretation of this is similar to price to earnings ratio if the cash flow of 16.72 does not grow at all then on a cash basis it will take 9 years to recover this 152.6 invested needless to say one would want to recover his capital as early as possible and hence would want this number to be as low as possible to consider a stock is attractive having said that we cannot conclude whether this stock is attractive or not in isolation we have to compare it with peers and discuss fine this is how you have to calculate and interpret price to operating cash flow